Hi everyone, welcome to 2019. I want this year to be your best year yet. Now I'm back from having a mini break, so the video schedule is back to normal. So every Monday you'll have a Money Monday video and every Thursday you'll have a lifestyle love video. So if you haven't subscribed and switched on that notification button, please do so right now. I want this to be your year. I want you to get to the end of the year and stand proud as you look back on your goals and your New Year's resolutions and know that you have done incredibly well. Now for this video, I wanted to kickstart 2019 on a really productive and efficient and effective note. So I'm actually sharing with you seven of my secret hacks for achieving goals and New Year's resolutions. Now these are things that I do personally that I've been doing for a really long time and I realized I hadn't actually ever shared this with you. So this is the absolute perfect opportunity for us to all kickstart 2019 on an amazing note. All right, so secret hack number one is I break down my goals into mini, manageable and achievable goals. So what I do is I sit down and spend some time thinking about my big picture. I then work backwards. I stop and ask myself, what are all the mini steps, things that need to be achieved, goals that need to be smashed, that are gonna take me on those stepping stones to achieving that big picture or that big goal. And I sit down and write them down. And a classic example of how I did this is with the $1,000 project. I saved $32,000 in 12 months. Now, if I set myself a goal of saving $32,000 or more, I would just paralyze myself with fear and I would talk myself out of it or procrastinate. But I didn't. All I did was think about, okay, well, how can I come up with $1,000? And I wrote down a whole pile of little things I could do, goals that I could achieve, steps that I could take, crazy ideas that I could come up with just to focus on $1,000 at a time. And so when I made my first $1,000, it was really quite easy and, and not that hard and it was actually a lot of fun. So I simply repeated that process over and over and over again until 12 months had passed and I had saved $32,000. By having many manageable and achievable goals, you build motivation. And very, very quickly, you start to see light at the end of the tunnel. You start to see how capable you are as your savings builds up or your decks come down or your weight comes down or your fitness improves or your language skills improve or your reading more books or whatever your goal or new resolution is. As you see the progress you are making, it fuels your motivation and desire to keep going and it fuels your confidence and sense of self-worth, which is a powerful and magical thing to have in your life. Secret hack number two is I do the easy, fun, quick things first. It builds momentum and it builds that progress. And I think personally, best of all, when I love like that sensation of ticking something off and crossing it off my list, it fuels my desire to want to keep going. But most importantly, it actually frees up my resources. It frees up my time and it frees up my energy to then focus on those slightly harder goals. So if your goals are, for example, to do 20 minutes worth of meditation, 30 minutes worth of exercise, um, write down your goals, um, do some sort of brainstorming, do the fun, easy ones first so that you feel committed and connected to what you're doing, your growth and your journey, and you will progress through the rest of your list. And this, as a daily habit throughout a year, is incredibly powerful for getting a lot of stuff done. Secret hack number three, I'm a little bit nervous about sharing with you because it's a bit cheeky. And that is, I'm gonna say, rewards first. Now, one thing I often do when it comes to achieving my goals is I write all my goals down, I write down all the baby steps that I need to achieve to make sure that goal happens. But then I work out what's my reward gonna be at the end of the year if I achieve all these goals. So I've got something a bit naughty to show you. Inside this box is something really cool that I have bought for myself. And um, it's for if I achieve all my goals for 2019. Now I paid for this. Um, it is going to sit at my parents' house under strict instructions not to give it to me unless I have achieved all my goals or I have can prove to myself and my parents that I have worked my absolute backside off and done the best job possible to achieve those goals. 
Now, I really am excited about what's inside here. So this really makes me super determined and super ambitious to not only achieve those goals, but to actually smash them. And also the great thing about this is I can't wait to get inside this box. So it's actually motivating me to achieve my goals even sooner. Now I have to put a little bit of a disclaimer in there. Whilst I've bought this secret treat, which I will hopefully be able to share with you when I've achieved all my goals later in the year, I had to actually buy it up front because what I purchased was a limited edition. So yes, I can't, I'm not even allowed to open the box, but it will definitely be living with my parents. But if you want to give yourself some little rewards, things like I recommend setting up a separate savings account, going and booking a massage for the end of the month, maybe start doing a vision board with things that you'd like to buy for yourself or experiences, or maybe you even start booking flights or start researching holidays and hotels and things like that so that you can really believe in yourself that you're going to achieve these goals because you are going to be rewarding yourself very soon. All right, secret hack number four, and that is to have a theme or a motto or a saying that encompasses all of your goals for 2019. Now, what this is, is it's a saying that you say to yourself whenever you're feeling down or whenever you wake up in the morning or throughout your day. And it's just to like a little bit of a kick to remind you what you're working towards, why it's important to you and what is the, the motivation behind this. Now, I'd like to share with you what my theme for 2019 is. And I actually shared this on my Instagram account last month and it is less but better. So what this actually means to me is about focusing on quality rather than quantity. So for example, buying better quality clothes more than quantity of clothes. It means buying better quality foods rather than mass produced, um, you know, boxed packaged foods. It means spending better quality time with my family and friends rather than just saying yes to everything and everyone and draining my resources and being tired and run down. So that theme or motto or saying to me represents about efficiency and about fine tuning my focus and being really careful with my resources so that I achieve all my goals. Now I use this as an anchor and it rem as I said, it reminds me as I think about it throughout the day as to what is important to me. And it is central to all of my individual personal goals. Secret hack number five is actually about habits versus goals. I used to set goals of going to the gym, say, three times per week and doing X number of meditation sessions per week. And I realized they I was cheating by calling them goals. They are actually no longer goals. They are simple habits in my system and my way of life. Those are the things that I need to have in place to help me achieve my goals. So I recommend as you're going through your New Year's resolutions and your goals for 2019 that you stop and ask yourself which ones belong in the habits group and which ones belong genuinely in the goals group. Now by doing this, we're actually applying that less but better because you'll have less goals to focus on, but you'll have more energy and more resources and more time, maybe even more money and determination to plug your passion into those remaining goals. Secret hack number six is to draw you achieving your goals. Now, this is something I learned from Lavender um, from her, I guess, Motivational Goal Achievement Workbook. She recommends that you draw two pictures. One of you living the old life that you're not proud of, the, the habits that you're trying to get rid of. So that might be someone, you're drawing a picture of yourself eating bad food, sitting on the sofa, smoking, you in your old life. And then on a fresh piece of paper, you then draw yourself as you currently are and are going to be living your life in the future, all the things that you want to achieve. So you would draw yourself a picture of yourself, say going for a run, eating a bowl of salad, paying for something um, in cash. Now I am by no means an artist and my pictures were little stick figures, but it had a really powerful effect. And I can very clearly picture in my mind exactly what my two pictures look like and the strongest, clearest picture of me living my life is actually what I'm living right now. So I can I am proof that this really works and is incredibly powerful. And then the final secret hack to achieving your goals and news resolutions, and that is to check in with yourself twice a day. 
Whenever I wake up in the morning, I read my goals. I read about what I'm working towards, what's important to me, and the values behind. What are those goals going to give me? I know that when I actually do lots of exercise, I tend to eat a lot healthier food. I have more self-control in saying no to naughty things like banana bread and muffins. And when temptation comes your way or you enter into a danger zone, which will happen to all of us, like it happens to me all the time, you're so much more aware and switched on of the danger. And you then have that knowledge to actually remove yourself or do something to stop that temptation from happening. Things like knowing that you're in a supermarket or in a shopping mall, I know that I'm in a danger zone. I will find lots of really nice, pretty things to buy, but I'm aware of it. So I will quickly make sure I stick to my list of things that I need to do in that shopping mall and get myself out of that shopping mall as quickly as possible because it's going to be detrimental to achieving my goals. So what I recommend you do with this is either put a note in your phone or write something on your bedside table or keep it where you keep your toothbrush so that it forces you to look at it morning and night. Now, by having it on your phone, it means if you're running late or something happens, you've got your notes with you so you can watch it. You can reread it on the bus, on your way to work, sitting at your desk or lying in bed at nighttime, which is when I like to read my goals. And also the powerful thing about reading these goals in the morning is you jump out of bed with so much more direction, purpose and energy. It's incredible. And also by reading them again at nighttime, it gives you a sense of calmness and security and tranquility because you're thinking about the exciting goals that you're going to achieve. And there's something very soothing about that. And as you drift off to sleep and you get into a deep sleep, you never know what amazing ideas actually might come to you overnight. And I have to say, there are lots of things I've woken up in the morning and I've had a new perspective on something or I've had a, a light bulb moment. And it's because I have looked at those goals, my direction, my purpose, my motivation and my ambition before closing my eyes and drifting off into another world. All right, everyone, they are my secret hacks. I would love to know from you guys, what are your secret hacks for achieving your goals? And what do you think of these? Which one do you think is the most helpful for you? And I would also love to hear from you guys, what are some of your New Year's resolutions and goals? Because I'll be checking in on you throughout the year because I know everyone who comments on a regular basis and I love hearing the progress that you're making. It actually puts the biggest smile on my face. All right, everyone, here is to a, an incredible 2019. May it be the best year yet for all of us. Now, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do because we're going to be we're going to smash 2019 together. All right, ciao for now.